The power of his dream brings you here. His man, Sean Carlard. Do you see yourself as a problem to avoid or a challenge to overcome with a solution? These words I have chosen very, very carefully. We always tend to talk about a problem. A problem is a matter or a situation regarded as unwelcome or harmful and needing to be dealt with and overcome. I think with the the definition of a problem, a problem or matter involving doubt, uncertainty or difficulty, a question proposed for solution or discussion. For my, and this is just my opinion, doesn't necessarily reflect the opinion of the radio station, my, but my opinion is when people come to me with problems, the problems are never solvable. So if I've trained you before, you when you come to me, you, you're going to say, I have a problem, and I'll say, do we have problems? Then you go, no, 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 we have challenges. So for me, a challenge is a problem that we will find a solution for. It's a, a problem that we can overcome. So we have challenges in our life. So problem to avoid or a challenge to overcome with a solution. And the reason why I say that is we can also take challenges and avoid them. And avoiding is a very, very key factor as to how we move forward. One of the ways that I use to avoid confronting something or somebody or dealing with an issue in my own life is I would keep really busy, like really, really busy. And then if you expected me to address something that really mattered, how could I? Because I'm so busy. And another thing what we do is we tend to run around trying to fix everybody else's life so we can avoid fixing our own. Or we can't fix our own and it makes us feel better that we can at least fix somebody else's. And that's why God's very clever in the word. Uh, the way you judge is the way I'm going to judge you too. He always wants you to get back to the place. It starts with you. So you and I is where we've got to focus on. Do you see yourself as a problem? Now, the way to answer that is, do you see others as a problem? When somebody comes to you in the street, do you avoid them? When you pull up at the robot, do you avoid or keep your window close to the person who's going to come knock on your window? Quite an amazing thing is, is a lot of times people need more to hear their name than they do to have food in their stomach. And sometimes it's just a good idea to give a smile, to give acknowledgement, to wind your window down and say, sorry, not for me today and to acknowledge just their presence and their existence. So do we avoid problems or do we look at them as a challenge and go, hold on a second, I'm going to overcome this. I need to find a solution and that helps us bring others into the situation to try and discuss it and work it out. Do I see others as a problem to avoid or a challenge to overcome with a solution? Keeping in mind, don't let this spark you off that you feel that you have to confront and address everything you come, that comes your way. When I taught you interpersonal skills, remember I said, you got to ask yourself, is it my fight? When I taught you how to do conflict management and how to fight the good fight, because there is a good way of confronting and fighting, and there's a process that we go through. And the number one question was, is this my fight? So it's just a check of your heart and where you're doing and how you are doing by asking the question, if I see myself the way I treat others or I see others, do I see others as a problem to avoid? Because if you do, that means you see yourself as a problem and you're not. You have challenges and you will overcome them and you will find a solution. The power of his dream brings you here. His man, Sean Carlard.